Now to the unanswered questions this morning after a dangerous standoff in St. Cloud officers coming under fire at one point before finding a woman inside a home. And this morning, her husband is facing murder charges. This all unfolded Saturday night at a home on Hotel Drive. That's a brand new neighborhood next to Alligator Lake. News Six's Mark Lehman is following the latest live. And Mark, were any officers hurt in all of this? Unfortunately, no. Police say the suspect opened fire on the officers as soon as they arrived on scene, but no officers were injured uh, during that exchange and they did not return fire. But now the suspect is here at jail and facing charges in connection with his wife's death. Now, it was around 6.30 Saturday evening when tactical teams first responded to the St. Cloud neighborhood where all this happened. Police say there were calls for a domestic argument on Notel Drive when officers got to the front of the home. They say 48-year-old Jose Otero Fontanez shot at them. No, no, uh, no officers were injured and they did not return fire. And after a standoff, a crisis negotiator was able to talk Otero for, for, uh, Fontanez into surrendering. As he was taken into custody, officers found the body of his wife in a bathroom. Two children were also in the home and they were not hurt. Now, following the arrest, St. Cloud's police chief released a statement saying in part, our hearts go out to the children who lost their parents here tonight. We will be working with them to get them the resources they will need to cope with what happened here. Now, as for the suspect in this, uh, that it's unclear at this point what led up to the violence, and we're working to learn more about that. Right now, he's facing a charge of first-degree murder and is expected to face a judge here at the jail later today. For now, reporting live in Osceola County, Mark Lehman, getting results, News 6.